Don't face him. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Good boy! Yeah! Yeah! Good boy! Yeah! Good boy. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Right, but, but keep going. Don't face him. Right. Dogs naturally and their nature is to grab and shake. Okay? That is their nature. That is their passion. That is how they hunt in nature when they grab animals, small animals, wolves, dogs. They grab them, especially smaller ones than them, than their size, rabbit, cat, <laughs> you know, possum, anything like that. It's grab and shake it, right, until they kill it. So it's the death shake, right? So the purpose of that is when they grab and they start shaking, the animal has no way of balancing itself out to be able to get out and run away or fight back, okay? And if you've been in a suit before, like I had all day <laughs> with all our protection dogs that we teach that, that, that really gets you off balance to the point with a powerful enough dog and they're shaking that you will go down. Right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. Jesus. And that's what I'm doing, man. You say send him. I'm not fine. Right. So the shaking again with animal. It keeps them off balance. The animal doing this, he cannot get his senses and get a, any grip or mental balance, right? And then the dog will put after the shaking and put more pressure and dig in and crush, right? And see if he could crush it and end it. If not, the animal's moving still, they crush and they shake, 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 right? This is nature. Dogs built this way. So, in protection, my emphasis after getting good, hard, solid, deep bites, I want shaking and passion as well. Oh, that was, <laughs> Whoa! That was crazy. Okay? Because that's how you tear things, right? It is damaging. All right, he's got my arm now. Hi, look, oh, he's got my arm. Ow. All right, let it go. See if you can slip it. He got How me. was that? Through, Through the, the sleeve. sleeve. Wow. His teeth went through the sleeve, just so you know. So if you want a real protection dog, you want a dog that's going to fend for you, your life, your family's life. I'm going to show you here. This is a Schutzen seminar, IPO. One of the top Schutzen IPO trainers in the world. Right? And this is nothing against the trainer. He's fantastic. I respect him. But he's teaching people about the shuts and bite and the holding, okay? So you're gonna see a pit bull being worked here because in shuts and IPO sport, you're not, a dog's not supposed to come in and shake, right? He's not supposed to do real protection, real aggression. They want to be calm, steady, and go and get the bite and stay there and calm. That is 
anti-dog's nature. <laughs> so I'm going to show you a clip here of the Shutson IPO seminar where they are trying to take away the natural aggressive instinct of this pit bull. Okay, and the, the pit bull's got game, right? This is a great dog. For me, I would love this dog, right? So when you see him here, you're gonna see the pit bull grab the sleeve and start shaking it all over. And you can tell in the beginning, it's hard to keep your balance when he's doing that, which is the, what we were talking about there in the beginning, of when dogs go and grab their prey and shake it to keep it off balance so that they can have their way with that animal. It's all about getting the animal off balance mentally and physically, right, to have the advantage. Same thing in bite work. So when you see this pit bull here going and grabbing and shaking that sleeve, you could tell the guy is like this, and if he wouldn't have a line on him and holding him, trying to pull him in steady on a line so he can control him, he'd be all over the place. It would be very difficult to deal with that dog with that massive shaking he's got. So here you're gonna see the trainer trying to control the pit bull and take away his natural aggressive instincts. Right, so he's gonna hold, he's got a leash with the prong collar, got electric collar there too, just in case he needs it. And the moment the pit bull starts shaking, he puts consequence on him and starts jerking the prong collar and jerking him to stop him from, from thrashing. Okay, so trying to calm him down and get focus on the bite and stay still and relax into the bite. Taking away all aggressive natural tendencies. Okay, and that pit bull has got game, right? I'd be one of those looking at him going, man, that, that's an awesome dog. He gets in there, he thrashes, that's the kind of dog I want in protection. Okay, because that dog's going to put it on you. And when dogs doing that and you have no equipment, it's hard to, to fight them because they'll switch, they'll come off there, they'll switch, they'll go. If a dog just is taught to hold there all the time, okay. right? So what the sport is doing, I don't understand how this is not seen that something has to change somewhere in the sport and sports across the board that you are going against and teaching a dog to be more passive and not truly do bite work and true protection work. And this is how you see too, with the aggression and all of that, what a dog is really made of, right? So in shots, you can't tell in the sport how good that dog is off the field because he's doing prey work and not real protection work in aggressive state. He's not showing it on the field. If he has it, you won't know unless you know him off the field. Because they all competing have to go and hold on. They're just going to chase their toy. They're in prey drive. So 99% of Shutton dogs are prey driven dogs. And if you want to win in Shutton, you better have prey drive it's all about these days prey drive, not defense drive. Defense drive is real dog. A defense drive is one who really wants to fight you and who's going to really put it on you. Not go hold on and hang on there and just stay steady and calm while he holds there, right? 
The dogs that I've taught, when we get them on those suits, you see people throwing the suits off in pain, crying, right? Because we don't do here, we always end up here. Because one shot and one tiny little shot will make you cry up here, right? Just like this. Now back, Frank, back. Oh, I got you good? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, damn. Woo! Oh, he got you good. Oh, damn. Mm. Good boy. Ooh. I tried to hold on. Woo! Yeah. Ah! Good. Oh, he got you. <laughs> because again, I've said this in many other videos of protection work and to people who come and train with me to be trainers. This whole thing in calm grip puts the dog at disadvantage. Okay? So if I have an object and he just holds there and he won't let go, but he's not shaking me, Mm, mm, mm. I can punch him in the eye, right? There was years ago, a police officer went into a bar with a big German Shepherd. The guy in the bar refused and gave mouth off to the officer and engaged with the officer in conflict. The Shepherd was sent, bites him in the arm. The guy beats the daylights out of the dog, and the dog squeals and cries after about five, six shots in his eye, lets go, and takes off back to the officer, and that was the end of his fight. Right? So when you teach a dog to go and hold on here and stay steady and just stay there no matter what, you are doing your protection dog a disservice. Right? I've always said that and that's why I only do sleeve work in the preliminaries when teaching a dog beginner bite work, it's just pre-stage. To me, a sleeve is just pre-stage. Here you see Malawa puppy Khaleesi. I think she's nine, ten weeks old here. <laughs> automatically right genetics but a genetic dog that has fight game right so you hear that defensive as a puppy and the shaking right as a young puppy natural natural fight drive aggression what we're seeking when we pick dogs for personal protection work or police work, not necessarily sport work, right? Especially Schutzen, right? So they want dogs that are going to play nicer, not go after the decoys for real. It's not for you. <laughs> and here, just show you two of my Malawa puppies had a little problem with each other and look at this aggression <laughs> and how they tried to work it out naturally. Ready? Yep. Yes. I mean, that's crazy fight right that's nasty stuff and it was grab and shake each other that's the nature natural instinct here you see a rottweiler that we were working with this is a leg bite you got the remote it's on the gate oh shit hold on hold on hold on, hold on. <laughs> And this is the example that I'm saying, here you're going to see we're working with this Rottweiler and not in protection. This dog we were trying to cure his aggression because he was out of his mind, want to bite everybody, anything, dogs, everybody, right? 
and you're going to see him just grab the back of my other trainer right in the calf and naturally shake right because he wanted to kill us this guy so he just grabbed the back of the pant leg and started shaking my guy oh shit hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on. <laughs> And I had the camera, you see me going, wow, oh man, because I was trying to help him and stop him from falling because he did fall. <laughs> right? He got shaken in the leg and there he went. He couldn't hold his balance and he went and hit face first on the floor. But I caught as he was standing with the camera as he was starting to fall because I moved the camera and I tried to help him to stop him from falling on the floor because I didn't want the dog to jump on top of him and maul him right this is a serious dog right but you see the natural shaking natural and took him down by the back of his calf this is what we're talking about he immobilized Moshi the trainer here and when Moshi went down, the Rottweiler clamped on the back of that calf and dug in and shook. And it was the most painful, excruciating thing that Moshi, the trainer, has ever been through in his life. <laughs> right? Because with those kind of guys, where they're that aggressive, that shake and digging deep and he pinned the calf against the floor and shook and dug in natural aggression flaring right that shaking <laughs> that is what we want and it took him right down advantage to dog when dog can flail and shake right and we had to have the owner grab and pry him off so that the dog didn't move from the calf up to the back of his head. Dangerous, dangerous territory. And if Moshi wouldn't have had the protection suit on, he would not have a calf today. No joke, not even kidding. With the power that this Rottweiler has, Chapel, I mean, you're talking serious, serious power and he was not playing so that flailing rips muscle tissue so he would have dug in there and ripped that muscle right off crazy crazy stuff but just examples of that shake and the advantage the dog has and bringing out that true aggression and the passion let them flow naturally and enhance it give reward for it okay because then you know if you ever need the dog they know how to take care of business and that shaking is going to do that dog a good service because they go and shake somebody that breaks in the house like that it is very difficult to get yourself together to try to fight the dog i mean it's it is not easy when a dog is shaking you all over the place like that and not have a suit on, it's your flesh, right? So you're, ow, and it's hurting and you're trying and the dog is, right? So that is real protection. Till next time, Miami Dog Whisperer.